Today, there will be a collective push for blood donors from hospital leaders to Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas. January is National Blood Donor Month because there typically is a drop in donations after the holidays. But the Community Blood Center says in years past, it's been critical. And so KSHB 41 News reporter Claire Bradshaw joins us live outside of CBC to give us some details on today's press conference. Claire, you also have a blood donor's uh, sort of why as to his reasoning behind giving back, right? Hey, good morning, you guys. So yeah, every month, every January, there's a push for blood donations, but this is Laird Goldsberg's first year behind that push. So let me tell you a little bit about Laird and his story. In the spring of last year, he had a medical emergency that caused him to need 13 pints of blood. For those that don't know, it takes one person per pint. So 13 people help save Laird's life. Since then, he's been heavily involved with the American Red Cross by volunteering as a blood donor ambassador. He's organized blood drives and he's donating his own blood. And each time he volunteers, he says he feels rewarded. I see a lot of people smile. I get a lot of thank yous. I'm, I'm the guy that's giving the thank yous, but everybody's thanking me for being here, which is remarkable. But um, it's a very easy way to give back and it takes half an hour. It's very, you come in, you have an appointment, you're in and out very quickly. Um, it's not onerous at all. It's a great way to get back. So today at 10 a.m. we'll hear from a range of people like Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas to hospital leaders and those here with the Community Blood Center. They're all pushing for blood donors to take, you know, a half hour, an hour out of their day to give blood. Laird says if it wasn't for those who donated and continue to donate, he would not be here today with us. So if you want to donate, you can visit CBC or the American Red Cross's website to find a blood drive near you. Back to you guys. So Claire, you said that Laird sponsors blood drives. How exactly does that work? Yeah, so if you've ever gone to a blood drive, maybe it's at your workplace or your church, they have to sponsor those. So Laird organizes a couple of his own each year through other organizations he's a part of, and then he's doing the work to get people to sign up and to get people to come in and donate. So anybody can do it. You can find out how more on uh, the American Red Cross's website.